Students and parents from Sandy Creek may have been some of the last to see Notre Dame before the fire. Thirteen students and eight chaperones are traveling Europe for a school trip. They could not believe their eyes as they watched the fire from a boat. News Channel 9's Josh Martin spoke with a parent who is in Paris tonight. It was just amazing. We just got pictures of it today. Students from Sandy Creek and the eight chaperones with them made plenty of memories today while at Notre Dame. <laughs> Not knowing the unthinkable would happen just a short time later. Marsha Miller is a chaperone on the trip. She and the students could only watch while on a boat as the church burned. The kids are all in shock. I, it's, um, everybody's in shock. You know, it's just we were just there. It's just that. Uh, I mean, I, I'm glad that we were able to see it. We, you know, the guide that was with us was just get, just today gave us all the information about it. She's pointing out every detail of the front of the structure to us, um, you know, different meanings of everything. And it was just, you know, I'm glad they were able to learn about it, but just to know that it, that it happened while we were here. These were some of the pictures taken earlier in the day. The church in its full form, hundreds of tourists taking in its beauty. April 15th will now be a day remembered for this tragic fire. I mean, it's added, you know, <laughs> quite an impact to, on, on the trip. France is six hours ahead of us here in central New York. We spoke with Miller around 1 a.m. her time. Some of the students were still awake, trying to process what they'd seen. All the kids get to journal every night about their experience. We do a journal of what our experience is for that day. So I said, this is going to be something you're going to be part of for the rest of your life. You know, you were, you were here for this. The group is scheduled to head to Germany tomorrow. Everyone is safe and accounted for. We also learned that students from the Norwich City Schools District down in Shenango County were also in Paris. They're accounted for and all safe as well. Christy. Thank you, Josh. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused the fire, but say it doesn't look like anyone set the fire intentionally. Tune in for continuing coverage on News Channel 9 for the latest starting at 4.30 on the morning.